Hello there. What's going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the sci-fi set from Urban Mass. This is going to be some uh, kind of generic science fiction terrain. Works with just about everything. Uh, and uh, they sent this out to us. So big thanks to the folks over at Urban Mats. We're going to pull some of this out and see how it looks. We'll be taking a look at this whole set. We'll size it up and... Uh, I'll give you guys a good idea. This is all pre-painted terrain. You open this up and it is ready to go. Uh, we're looking at a lot of grays and metallics here, which you're going to work with an awful lot of different types of pieces. And here we go. It's uh, it's, it's kind of very industrial. This can work um, in like maybe a city or like a kind of a Batman Gotham uh, kind of gothic kind of city or maybe imperial gray uh, for whether it's something like Star Wars Legion or or even uh, even 40K or something like that. So very cool. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm going to pull all the rest of this out. We'll look at all of these pieces in a little bit more detail. All right, so I've got everything out of the box now, and we're still looking at that same kind of silo piece. We're actually going to get two of these uh, in a pack. Now, these are, are pretty tall. Um, I've got some, uh, you know, Legion AAT here. You can see that this is... Uh, a little more than six inches, or about six inches tall. Uh, we've got uh, some some stormtroopers here on the base or on the top, and you can kind of see uh, you know, the, the the flat top is nice that you can have dudes get up on there. You've got a built-in ladder on each of these sides too to facilitate movement. And uh, we've got ourselves, if we look real closely at the uh, uh, at the texture here, it looks like it's kind of like a black base with kind of silver dry brushing and then some some gold trim on here um so you know it, it's I, it's certainly more along the lines of a quicker paint job uh but but definitely you know if you're if you don't want to have to make terrain you don't want to have to paint any 3d printed terrain or whatever and you just want to be able to have some terrain straight out of the box ready to go this is gonna do do it for you for sure uh we've got a couple other pieces here let's um let's take a look at we've got some barricades uh, and these are a lot bigger than the regular Legion barricades. Uh, these are uh, quite longer, and they have kind of a nice little subdued spot here in the middle. Um, and a kind of cool thing about this, too, like uh, looking at uh, Legion, I'm not sure how like every other war game does their movement rules, but this middle section is actually uh, a little bit lower than half of the mini, so you could always say... Um, if somebody's moving through just the middle section, it doesn't have to be um, difficult movement. You could even say like they could move to a full move over the middle. It would only be difficult movement here because the sides are taller than half the mini, which is pretty interesting. Although if you're going to do that, then you probably have to say the middle doesn't provide heavy cover either. So, you know, you'll have to decide with your opponent beforehand. I would probably just say that uh, the whole thing's one big heavy cover and difficult movement over there. Uh, anyway, just to uh, to be standardized for the whole piece uh, because because it's a little easier to go that way. But I like that it's, it's uh, you having some different difference there. Uh, and then of course you can use these to kind of block off terrains because they're so so much larger than the normal barricades. You can kind of block off kind of areas or or just use them as big barricades. I kind of like that or kind of make it a wall around uh, this piece. Something to that effect. Uh, we also have one of these silos. Actually, we get two of these. Or this is kind of like a warehouse uh, or, a, or a shed or a barn or something kind of along those lines. I'm going to need a shed for all my terrain. Um, but also, this is pretty cool. We've got kind of almost like these panels along the sides. Uh, this definitely, uh, I feel like this could work for a wood-based pattern as well. Uh, but yes, definitely also works for uh, for metal. Um, and... Uh, yeah, that's the, the top look of this one. Um, and we have two of those, so we can set those up. Well, let me move those to the side, and we'll, we'll see how some of the other pieces... We're actually going to get, I think, eight total pieces in this set. This one's going to be a little bit larger. This is more of a just a standard rectangular uh, type of building. We've got some piping on the side, some... Uh, maybe a generator, uh, air processing unit, or something like that. A vent up at the top. We've got our door over here. Uh, some more uh, greebles and, and, and patch it, patch panels and, and things of that sort. Uh, we've got some of our roofing, uh, del uh, venting, and stuff like that uh, up on the top of this one. Again, nice and flat. Really good for a lot of units to be able to land on. And that's one of the things that all of the stuff in this set has. We've got 
lots of room for people to be able to land on. Uh, the last piece is going to be large, though. I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit more to show you how, how big this one is. All right, here we go. This one is pretty significant. This one is almost looks like a crown at first, but we've got ourselves a little garrison here, like a little fort. Uh, this one is especially cool. I really like uh, this one. We've got a nice, uh, what, octagon here. And uh, yeah, a lot of room inside in the center. Uh, we've got, um, look, I can fit a whole tank's base in there. Uh, and these are the biggest bases in all the Star Wars Legion. So really, really cool. We can have lots of dudes up top in here. Uh, we can have them, we can have, you got multiple units in here, uh, as well as plenty of people down below trying to get in. This is very, very large. I like it. Um, definitely like this one quite a bit. Uh, and you're going to be able to do a lot with a terrain set like this. Uh, but I like this as a good uh, kind of centerpiece. You can put your snipers up on top, have them hold a certain area. Very cool. All right, so here I have things kind of set up. Now, this is a lot of stuff that is going to work on just about any type of mat or any type of scattered terrain you've got. And uh, I think this is the half set. Uh, if you get the full set, you're going to get like basically double of everything here. Uh, and I think this is enough to populate a three by three table. Uh, it's very nice. And, uh, and I really like how it goes with just about everything. So a very versatile set. Uh, you can probably put this just about anywhere. Big thanks to the folks at Urban Mats for sending this out. Uh, it's, uh, it was really nice of them. We've had a lot of other uh, terrain reviews from Urban Mats, so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, be sure to check out some of the links at the end of the video. I'm going to put some over here where you can see some of the other uh, reviews if you haven't already. Uh, but yes, uh, also if you guys want to check out some more links, if you want to check out Urban Mats, I'm going to have a link in the description below, uh, as well as links to uh, other things like my social media, as well as my website, krebok.com, and uh, Discord as well. So hop on Discord, join the community there. All right, guys, a big thanks also to my patrons. You guys are absolutely amazing and help make this all possible. So thank you so much for your continued support. If you're interested in uh, checking out Patreon, you can check that out in the links as well. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.